Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm gonna film a what are you in a day today. I am in Ibiza right now. It's almost, it's already like summer here. We got a summer house in Ibiza last year and it's finally ready now and just had the best time here um, and yeah. <laughs> Um, Pear and I were playing tennis and before that I was doing my Instagram workout I started creating workout plans every week on Instagram and they're saved in my story highlights and I'm doing weekly live workouts and yeah we can all work out together motivate each other and stay fit together I'm gonna make a green smoothie um, so I already <laughs> did a little uh, meal prep I washed all my greens here in Ibiza it's so nice once a week I get this uh, box with lots of fresh green veggies and and fruits from a local farm and it's all organic and they yeah, deliver it to your house which is super nice so what I do because it's quite dirty when it gets here I wash all the greens and then I have them pre-washed in the fridge and I don't know about you guys but I hate washing greens and this just makes it so much easier to make like green smoothies daily and I'm just much more likely to actually make them um, when I know I have them like pre-washed in the fridge so yeah just a little tip in case you are struggling with making green smoothies and they're so healthy you should definitely not miss out this kitchen is so perfect for filming maybe we'll do a kitchen tour later or in a different video in case you need more inspiration for green smoothie recipes um, you can get my 21 day vegan reset it has 21 green smoothie recipes and lots of delicious recipes for every day so yeah I'm gonna add my water first this always helps um, so it blends easier and then what do we have we have some kale super high in vitamin c and protein minerals and then we have some swiss chard all organic and some romaine they're all kind of mixed together so basically my like rule for green smoothies is 80% greens and 20% fruit um, because I really like my smoothies green because this is just such a good way to get more greens into your diet pair during summer as well which makes me super happy so yeah I have my greens in there now I'm gonna get some fruit so I think I still have yeah I still have two left so I will use one frozen banana and also some frozen pineapple so if you ever have overly ripe fruit and you don't know what to do with it, just freeze it and use it for your smoothies. It's so good. So yeah. And I am using about a handful of frozen pineapple. And that's it. I keep it super simple. So creamy and smooth. This is literally All right, I'm gonna take my smoothie outside. I put the watermelon in the fridge so it stays fresh as I have my smoothie first. I'm gonna go in the sunshine. Ah, such a nice day. This is my sunny spot. And here we have my fig tree. I'm so excited about this one. I always wanted to have a fig tree. refreshing and cold and creamy so I would always recommend have your green smoothie first and then your first meal um, because this way it's easier to digest and you know green smoothies don't really need much time to digest as they're already blended and um, yeah also I thought I did a Q&A on Instagram the other day and while I have my smoothie, I could answer some of your questions. Okay, first one is I love fruits, but I'm struggling to eat more vegetables. That's your answer. <laughs> Easy, convenient. Um, how many grams of protein do you eat in a day? 
So I never track what I eat, like I don't count calories and I don't count macros, but um, yeah, so I really don't know, but I just go by how I feel and what my body's craving. And I get most of my proteins from greens, from nuts, from seeds, from oats, avocado, um, vegetables like mushrooms and potatoes, quinoa, rice, uh, green peas, things like that. So yeah, that's also another question where I got my protein from. So those are my go-to protein sources. Mm. How come you live in Ibiza? So many questions about Ibiza. So basically we came here first time a couple of years ago and we just fell in love with this place and we always wanted to kind of not live by the ocean but have a place by the ocean and then probably like more and more move there like the older we get. And we didn't think it would happen this quickly, but last year we just found like our dream place and we walked in and we knew like this was home basically. And we've seen it like the year before already, but it wasn't built yet. So we just saw the construction and then last year we came again and we just fell in love. So basically, yeah, this is our summer home now, but we like really don't want to leave. So it's probably like between here and London and we're going to be here a lot. So the next one is how many days a week do you you work out so I work out about six days a week sometimes five days a week and I follow my workout plans I started to create them about eight weeks ago and I just love my workout community on Instagram and it's so fun to work out with you guys and yeah do this together so I follow my own plans I create 30 minute 45 minute um, 60 minute and a beginner plan they're all saved in my story highlights on Instagram all right I will get my second green smoothie smoothie and watermelon and then I will answer a few more questions later. doing my own workout a year ago and before that I was mainly doing hit workouts um, lots of just running and spinning and boxing and Barry's boot camp and things like that and oftentimes it would just like stress me out and I would just feel like very exhausted and stressed and I think my cortisol levels were too high my body was holding on to water weight so I just got like naturally a bit leaner just following my own workouts so and I find them so fun and so not stressful I'm so energized afterwards but not like exhausted so I do that and I still like to do a little bit of cardio here and there so I will do maybe like twice a week 20 minutes of running or spinning um, but I don't just like mainly do cardio like I mainly do my workouts now with a little bit of cardio compared to mainly doing cardio with a little bit of something else if you're not doing my workouts yet follow me on instagram and they're all there they're all for free all the workout plans and share with anyone who could benefit from you know squeezing in a bit more movement i love my workout community and i love to see your stories working out it always makes my day <laughs> all right mm. So yeah, I'll have my watermelon first, then I'll wait a little and then i show you what else I have. I'm also having a bowl of juicy honey melon. They're so good here, super ripe and sweet. And yeah. I am also having some menstrual dates um, and I'm uploading a new workout on Instagram. So. It is dinner time. I was a bit lazy today <laughs> to cook so I ordered some sourdough bread and this is like an organic um, seed bread from um, our restaurant here. 
And um, I already toasting two slices. Um, I love this panini grill. We actually got it like in the lockdown in London last year and we used it so much so we got one here as well. Um, yeah, so I'm toasting these. I love everything, super crunchy and almost like burnt. Um, and then here I ordered some avocado. It also has some olive oil on it. Um, and uh, yeah, personally I wouldn't put olive oil on it but I forgot to say that. And then I have some tomato bruschetta leftovers and um, a bit more avocado here and that's it so I will just make some nice avocado toast and tomato bruschetta I'm gonna add some pumpkin seeds and sunflower seeds for a bit more protein healthy fats and a little extra crunch and that's it simple and super yummy and satisfying mm. so simple not so good and round number two I'm having a little post dinner tea actually I didn't buy tea yet <laughs> so I'm just gonna have hot water and some lemon and then I am off to bed so 